Hello everyone, it's Linda again. Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the Google Analytics Admin API with PHP. This video will be about automating the process of creating a new property in Google Analytics. Properties are like containers for your website or apps. They help you manage the Google Analytics data uh, more efficiently. This video is in response to a question on Stack Overflow. That question was, uh, Google Analytics API creating properties is missing args. Uh, you can find a link to that in the um, description below. The Google Analytics Admin API allows for programmatic access to Google Analytics GA4 accounts. Basically, configuration data compatible with GA4. You can use it with PHP by going through the Google Cloud PHP client library, and you can import this library using Composer. Let's break this code down step by step. We start by including the necessary auto load file which loads the classes that we need for the Google Analytics Admin API. Then we import the classes that we will need later. Here we will define the service account credentials JSON file. This file was downloaded from Google Cloud Console. I have another video that will walk you through creating that. Next, we initialize the instance of the Analytics Admin Service Client using our service account credentials file. This client will handle all of the authorization for us once we've loaded the key file. Now we're going to define our new property. There are several required properties that must be set in order to create the Google Analytics property using the set display name, set time zone, and set parent methods respectively. Note that the time zone must be the proper format. Uh, I have a link in the description which will help you find the time zone for your area. This code can throw some errors, so I'm going to put it inside of a try catch block. We create the property and then we pass it the prepared property that we just created. And then if it comes back successful, we can then print out the display name. If it causes an error, well, then we can put out the error message. And there you have it. With just a few lines of code, we can automate the creation of properties in Google Analytics. This can save some time and ensure some consistency when you're setting up new tracking um, on apps and on websites. I've seen a few clients who use it when they have multiple clients. They can set up their own. I hope you found this tutorial useful. And if you're interested in learning more about Google Analytics and other Google APIs, please make sure to subscribe and hit that like button and the notification bell so that you won't miss any future tutorials. As always, I hope you have a great day and happy coding.